Today we're going to talk about the mode APRV on the adult Avia ventilator. This is a mode similar to inverse ratio pressure control that's often used in the disease treatment of ARDS. But unlike inverse ratio pressure control, the patient in APRV will be able to spontaneously breathe throughout this mode. What that will allow you to do is to use less sedation and also you won't have to paralyze the patient. Now let's take a look at the ventilator. Okay, we're looking at the ventilator screen now that you'd see in APRV and I want to point out some settings. Uh, first is the pressure high. This would be equivalent to your peak inspiratory pressure. Uh, we can see that if we look at the waveform. The next setting that I want to point out is the uh, pressure low. Now this would be equivalent to your peak. So we have pressure high and pressure low. Now how much time are we spending at pressure high is defined right here. 3.2, uh, for example, is the pressure high. And in a minute, I'm going to tell you how to look at these and tell both your IE ratio and your rate based on that. So we're spending 3.2 2 seconds at time high, and we're spending 0.8 seconds at time low. And as you can see, that gives us a rate of 15, and I'll show you how you can calculate that. Uh, because sometimes if the patient is spontaneously breathing, and they are allowed to spontaneously breathe with this mode, you don't have to sedate the patient, you can have them spontaneously breathe with or without some pressure support. And so this uh, key right here will indicate the total respiratory rate. This is not correct because the inspiratory time is 3.2, it's not 1.06. Now I'll show you how to calculate the rate. I have the formula right here. Your rate is equal to 60 seconds plus 60 seconds divided by time high plus time low. So in our example, we had 60 seconds, we had a 3.2 I time plus 0.8 E time, 3.2 plus 8 equals 4, so 60 divided by 4 equal a rate of 15. Now to get your IE ratio, simply divide 3.2 or your I time by 0.8, which is your E time, and that equals 4. So your IE ratio is a 4 to 1 inverse IE ratio. IE ratio. Finally, for initial settings on the APRV mode, they recommend that the peak inspiratory pressure, or P high, be set approximately what the plateau pressure was on conventional ventilation. They also recommend not using any PEEP if you can because that, per, that way the patient doesn't have to exhale against PEEP for ventilation. The mean airway pressure is what's supporting oxygenation, so you no longer need PEEP, according to Hibachi. In this picture, in the top pressure waveform, you can clearly see that inspiratory time is four times longer than the short expiratory time.